Let's build the cylinder port block. In the plans it is called a cylinder port block, but it's more a port plate and so it's made from 3mm brass. Here I'm marking out the outer dimensions of the port plate and as usual I use a red marking pen because the blue marking liquid that we all know and love is a little bit too expensive for me. The main shape has no technical function so it can be a little bit changed by taste. The only thing that has to be spot on are the holes for the cylinder, the holes for the axle of the drive gear and the holes for the steam port. And as always there is a lot of filing to do, with brass it is uh, really easy to file, but you have to be careful with rough files because it can be overdone very quickly. Some months ago I added a milling machine to my shop, it's a cheap little version, but I don't want to use it in this project because it is a beginner project and should be manageable by hand tools. And here's the final position on the frames. You may see the different distance between the drill holes. That's just a visual issue. It's no problem for the function of the engine. In the plan the round tube is provided as the steam in and outlet. But I use a hexagonal shape because the flat areas or the flat surfaces are easier to solder on. And also the in and outlet pipes should be soldered like in the plans. But I like to make some thread and some nuts to take it apart for maybe cleaning or something. The drilling that are made from both sides of this part don't have to go through the whole part. So in the middle a little wall is left over to separate the steam inlet from the steam outlet. This might be a well known scene for you from all of my videos. Someone asked me why I add shellac on the components, but there is no paint or something similar here. It's just paint thinner to clean the marker's paint, oil residues and fine chips and dust. A very good tip especially when it comes to soldering. And here is the next change to the plan that I have made. Of course you could also solder the pipes onto the body, but it could be not separated if the pipes had to be cleaned. In addition, soldering the lines near the soldering joint of the port block and the hexagonal part would loosen them again. And this is how the parts will be connected. Soldering a round body on the plate is a lot more difficult. And in addition, it is easier to tighten the nuts with the wrench and be able to counter with another wrench on the hexagonal body. With the exception of the boiler, all parts of the cracker could be soft soldered. However, out of habit I use hard solder almost everywhere. I like to use solder rods that are already covered in flux, because the flux is not burned by the torch when the parts are heated up. Now the holes for the steam in and outlet are drilled. 
The hexagonal part is slightly thicker than the part in the plan. To prevent it from pressing against the boiler at the upper end, where the in and outlet sits, and so bending the plane surface on which the cylinder swings, I installed a spacer that separates the block a little from the frame and leave a little more space there. And last but not least, another addition to my sticker wall. Please take the time and have a look on Mark's channel. Great craftsmen and always a lot to learn. Meet you there and thanks for watching.